Hello and welcome back. Steel Pinnings here once again. And today I have for you the final installment of Locktober. We are officially um, moving into October 30th. It's about midnight right around there. So... One full day away from Halloween. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> For all the kitties out there. Yeah, anyhow, that lays us with one more look into the lock shop here and uh, show you what I've come across for the ending of Locktober. And you can see right off the bat these big mamma jammas here, right? These are the Sergeant and Greenleaf. Uh, 80, 831Bs and uh, this one here is one I was working on and um, modifying uh, a core for this core and so that I can get it operational that'll be a great addition and then I picked this one up off of eBay on the cheap cheap I got this, this lock for 20 bucks but it did not have a core it did not have the control um, uh, plate, and it did not have the actuator down inside. But I found a guy on eBay who had the plate and the actuator for sale for 25 bucks. So 20 and 25 well, hell, that's 45 bucks, And I have a core that uh, I have a key for. I have to modify the tail on it to uh, uh, work as it has to have this type of tail to it here that works with the uh, actuator like so and then it goes click and that's open and that's control pretty quick neat little thing there but that's actually part of the core it's not a separate piece it's not a tail piece really it's the tail of the core so you have to get a, a particular core made for that style of padlock. Well, I've managed to modify an, a tail off an old one that I drilled and took the tail off of it with a hacksaw and I'm modifying it to fit on the end of this one. So I'll have a working one here as well as the other. So that's two S&Gs. For, oh, and I didn't say that. I got to pick this one here up for um, $45. 45 and 45 90 bucks for both. Because it didn't have a... It had a... Um, didn't have a core. It has everything else. Anyhow, we'll move on from those. Before I bumble up what I'm talking about. You can see the bright green here, of course. That's a kryptonite round body. And uh, gorgeous, beautiful kryptonite locks. I've always loved them. Um, they get quite pricey at times, but great bidding on it. Nice little lock. You see these older Americans here, and these are the, um, H10 and Series 10, I believe. Style H, yeah. Junk unk. Um, anyhow, they have the, uh, double-sided wafer cores. And I tried to find blanks for them and get blanks and try and impression them and just... You know, even trying to figure out that there's a screw down the shackle hole, but it didn't seem to take out anything. I have figured out that the core is removable with that screw. I will do an upcoming video of removing this core and replacing it with a new replacement core that I've picked up. And these are Junk Unk Original US, uh, American US locks. And it's a perfect replacement core. And I have several of these that I'm going to replace cores for. That's why I picked up this whole pile of cores. So, if anybody needs an extra core, let me know. I also grabbed a few of these Federal Lock cores because I had some Federals I needed to rekey. Great little additions whenever they're done. And, uh, of course, this little Houdini thing here. This is a Slim Jim. You know how those things work. The, the tail body piece. Um, yeah, oh, I've got it in my bag. Anyhow. 
this one here is a fold up model uh, so it will work as down the door sleeve it's very thin and it folds up very nicely to fit in your bag I picked that up for five bucks off of eBay couldn't really pass it up not that you use Slim Jims as much anymore <laughs> but still nonetheless um, got over here these American locks these have that same type of core in them and uh, beautiful little locks so this series the series L50 and these are brand new old stock I picked up a few of them and um, couldn't really pass them up I have a couple older um, more you know scenically used you can tell but that leaves us with the uh, Pierre de Resistance, these two beauties. And this is an older and a brand new. We'll start with a brand new. And we see what it is there. It's the Asa D12. Beautiful little lock. Um, I just got the idea from Tumblr of how to pick it with a nimple pick. It might get a little further. So I'm going to give that a try and see if I can get into it. That will be really cool. And then here, I have this beautiful Lockwood. And this is a large format independent core. And has the operating key. As well as, I think this one, is the control key. Beautiful. I like how it will go all the way through, too. You won't even be able to lock it up until get it set just right and then it works but beautiful little lock I hadn't seen one like this and I could not believe it when I saw it I uh, jumped out my own shorts <laughs> anyhow so that's what I've got for the finish off of Locktober I really hope y'all enjoyed it and thank y'all so much for joining me in this awesome month of locks um We'll go ahead and sign off there. Y'all, please stay safe. Always stay legit. If you like this video and like what we do here, hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And as always, until we meet again, peace.